Hey there, it's Dr. Kamisa. Welcome back to our video series. And as you can see today, I'm in the woods here. And today, the reason I'm doing it in the woods, and it's a Mindset Master video today, so be prepared for some mental challenges. But uh, today, uh, I wanna share with you what happened with us. We had a big storm come through here on Monday. A micro, micro burst, small tornado. We lost a huge oak tree. You're gonna see some pictures of that. But uh, stay tuned, I got lots to share today. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon, notifications, give us a thumbs up. So stay tuned, I got lots to share. Hey there, it's Dr. Kimisa. Welcome back to our video. And uh, if you're new to our channel, like I said, please subscribe, hit the little notification sign, give us a thumbs up. But today I really want to talk about mindset. And really today it's, it's about uh, pain relief mindset or mindset pain relief. And I want to share what happened this week. So you're going to see some pictures here. We had a huge oak tree over four feet in diameter. It was a monster tree. And when you see the inside of the picture, when you see the inside of the tree in the, on the picture, I put a tape out there so you could see actually how, how long it was uh, square-wise. And uh, But it was a huge tree. I don't know how old it was, a couple hundred years old for sure. But when you look inside there, the tree was all rotted out. It was just a ring of wood all the way around the circumference. So what does that have to do with mindset master? What does that have to do with a mindset challenge? What does it have to do with pain relief? Well, I want to use the analogy of this tree, and we've all seen trees like this, where they look like they're this, tim this strong, sturdy oak tree, like a massive oak tree, and yet it's diseased on the inside. So what is that like? That's like someone coming in, oh, I, I just got, you know, I just got neck pain. I just got back pain. Uh, I only come in when I'm in pain. Well, what kind of mindset is that? So if we look at, you know, Einstein said, you know, the indefinition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. How are you gonna get different results in your health with the same mindset that brought you in when you were only in pain. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. If your mindset is pain relief, then you have to wait for the alarms to go off in the house before you do anything. You're reactive in your life. You're not proactive in your life. And getting to a healthier state isn't by being pain-free. That's the wrong parameter. So think about this. You've, you, everyone has known stories of someone who is, oh, Jim was in fantastic shape. He, he worked out every day. He looked amazing. He ran marathons. Uh, and one day he has a massive heart attack and dies. Or, you know, another lady goes in and with a, a, a routine checkup and they find out that she's, got, she's full of cancer. They don't do anything. So obviously those are different scenarios, but in both of those cases, pain wasn't even in the equation. So I want you to think about if we're gonna take this incremental step to a healthier lifestyle, how do we do this? And I have tried to make this video all flipping day. I've had delivery trucks backing up. I've had dogs barking. I have garbage trucks going on. I ran out of battery juice on my camera. So um, this is definitely a mindset day for me as well. But I did start my day off, and I'm gonna show you this in a second. I thought, okay, if I'm gonna do a mindset uh, video, I wanna do it in the right mindset. 
I didn't know all that was going to happen. But so I did another ice bath today and you're going to see what I ended up doing today in the ice bath. I held up the, the iPad uh, stopwatch and it was just a nine minute ice bath today. So uh, it's a big change from where I started at the two minute mark, but I'm at nine minutes. The water's 38 degrees more or less. Uh, I had four, four bags of ice in there today. So, but let's get back to this mindset. Let's get back to this mentality of, of pain, this mentality of, I'm not in pain, I'm healthy versus, oh, I have, a, I have pain, so I better go get the pain checked out. But even if the pain, like we've all, I've always strived for, what's the reason why? Why do you have pain? Why are you breaking down? And that's why we do such a, a detailed structural assessment because we want to know exactly what's going on with you. So. I want to think, I want you to think about this. I'm, I'm reading this book called Conscious Language and the author is Robert Tennessee Stevens and he talks about this conscious human operating system, meaning our brain. And we've all heard the phrase before, what you say is what you get. Well, when you start reading the power of words, words are the left side of the brain, emotions and feelings are the right side of the brain. So when you put those two together, you manifest your, so the words create your thoughts and your thoughts create your reality. And that reality is brought into life every day by repeating and, and with emotion. So think about this. Oh, well, I'm in so much pain today. There's emotion with that. And you're saying that. So when you use the words, I am, and then whatever you put after that, you're telling the universe, you're telling your brain, pay attention because what I'm going to say after I am, I want it to be code. So I want you to start to think about your self-talk. I want you to think about what are you saying to yourself? If you were to read your dialogue all day long and have a program analyze the words you are saying, they're limiting, they're, they're uh, vague, they're lacking. You need to be very specific, very detailed, very intent on your words, especially when it comes to health. So let me give you another analogy of that is you go to the restaurant. The waiter comes to your table and, you know, he's got his pen and paper and he comes to you and you say, uh, he asks you, what would you like? And you say, I want some food. Well, yeah, no kidding, right? You're in a restaurant. Of course you want food, right? So, uh, uh, but you have to be specific. Now think about this. You order something very specific now and the waiter brings you something that is not what you ordered. Don't you get a little pissed? Don't you get a little like, oh, irritated? Hey, that's not what I ordered. This, I ordered all this, all these different things. I ordered medium rare with a little hint of pink and now it's well done and there's no pink or whatever the situation is. Well, your brain is exactly the same way. What you say is what you get. And when you're programming your brain for health, you have to pick different words. You have to choose health. You have to choose. So I go through these affirmations that I am. And remember what I said, whatever comes after the word I am, and you can look up yourself where I am came from and really what it means. I am that I am is a little hint. Um, but when you say the words I am, and then after that, those are programmed words that are going into your brain. They're going into your physiology. They are changing the cellular function. So I have a co I say some different affirmations that I am strong, that I am stable, that I am working towards great health, right? That I'm confident. So you're putting action into it. I choose health. I choose love, I choose whatever it is, but it's not, you can't use the word want. Want is lack. Want is, is nondescript. 
I want to be out of pain. Well, that doesn't tell your body it, that it, that need want is going to keep you in pain. So you have to be very, very cautious of your self-talk. And when you catch yourself saying something, most people are unconsciously unaware. No different than their spine, no different than their posture, no different than anything else. They're unconsciously unaware until we take their x-rays and start to work with them and then they realize, oh boy, I'm standing up straighter, I can adjust the mirror in the car. And so most people are unconsciously unaware of how they talk. But how they talk is programming their brain, which is programming their physiology, which is programming their cells, which is producing their manifestation, which is producing their outcome. So I want you to be consciously aware, consciously aware of what you're saying, consciously, conscious language, right? So if you find yourself saying something that isn't a positive statement, isn't a moving forward statement, just say cancel clear. I say that all the time at the office, oh, cancel clear. You make a joke about, oh, cancel clear. I didn't mean to say that, cancel clear. It just kind of like wipes it out of the computer again. And I challenge you to read this, this book. It's really not a, you don't really read the book Conscious Language. You read it, you write it, you study it, and then you start to realize how powerful those words are. And, and so today when I, when I saw the tree come down and, and I saw the inside of the tree, I thought, boy, isn't that just a metaphor and a great analogy how we treat our life? We look at this big, strong oak tree and we think, oh, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's healthy. It's got all the foliage on it. And yet it's dying on the inside. It's dead on the inside. It would have eventually come down on its own. And, but you have to be proactive in your life. You have to, you, to get healthier, you can't have the same, like I said, you can't have the same mindset today that got you in the door because, or called the office because you're in pain, that mindset is not gonna get you healthy. You have to change your mindset. You have to make active choices, different little choices, so that you can progressively move towards a better health. And so, if we're empowering you, it's a little, tiny little step, and if you just change a couple words every day, or you start to write down in the morning just some positive statements that are impactful, that are empowerful, that, uh, that are moving you forward. Draw a line in the sand. Don't look backwards. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. Yesterday was yesterday. It's the past. We want to be present today, consciously today, present today, moving forward. So, um, I, uh, I, I enjoyed my ice bath today as I challenge myself. So I'm going to do this weekend a three-day challenge, which I've never done before. Um, today's Friday. I'm going to do Saturday, Sunday, and I'll try and just stick around that. I, I'm not even looking at the clock anymore. I'm just trying to be present in myself when I'm in the tub and uh, relax my mind, trying to get my mind to be stronger, more stable, and more alert, and so that I can be more present. So anyways, I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, as we empower you to live your best day every day, change one little thing. Change, watch what your self-talk is. And remember, what you say is what you get. You want to you wanna say great things, so you get great things. You want to say great things about your health, so that you have great health. So, as I empower you to live your best day every day, stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more adventures. You never know where I'm going to be next time or what's going to inspire a thought uh, or a video for next time. So have a fantastic day and uh, enjoy.